Dear students, in this video we discuss the search for genetic material means uh, whether the nuclein is the genetic material or the chromosome is the genetic material up to now there is, uh, there is a question about that uh, which is the genetic material. After discovery of the nuclein by the mixture and uh, the scientist uh, Gregor Mendel worked on the principles of inheritance. They have taken that uh, long uh, uh, work on this particular uh, finding of the genetic material. After that, uh, they proved that DNA is the genetic material. Who is the scientist that uh, first proved this one? By the uh, Griffith. The scientist Griffith uh, has proved that uh, DNA is the genetic material. The scientist Gregor Mendel and uh, Walter Sutton and Thomas Hunt Morgan and narrowed that search to chromosomes. Locat chromosomes are located in the nucleus, but uh, in the most of the cells, the most of the cells, it, uh, <clears throat> the nucleus, the chromosome present, but uh, uh, which is the genetic material uh, up to that finding of the DNA, they did not find about uh, which, which is the genetic material, whether the chromosome is genetic material or a d gene is the, or g uh, DNA is the genetic material, uh, they did not find. Now, the question uh, already raised here that uh, which is the genetic material. Now, the answer which is given by the scientist, uh, the Griffith. The scientist Griffith, uh, Frederick Griffith, in 1928, he conducted a series of experiments on the Streptococcus pneumonia. Series of experiments on the Streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia is a bacteria is responsible for causation of the pneumonia is responsible for causation of the pneumonia here uh, you find two different kind of the strains in this streptococcus pneumonia one is a S strain another one is a R strain there are two different strains are present one is S strain another one is R strain S is nothing but smooth strain and R is nothing but rough strain in that uh, two strains, one is responsible for the causation of the disease, smooth, uh, and uh, other one is uh, not responsible for causation of the disease here. Here, yes, is smooth strain, the bacteria that coated with polysaccharide um, mucous membrane, means that is coated, uh, bacteria cell wall is usually coated with the polysaccharide membrane or nuclear, uh, mucous membrane. This polysaccharide mucous membrane that produces shiny colonies while growing in laboratory condition. And uh, this is uh, uh, polysaccharide. Now this is polysaccharide is responsible for causation of the disease. Now uh, here they worked on this particular uh, these two strains. Which one is responsible for the uh, causation of the disease? And also at the, do, at the same time, and they searched for the genetic material. And which is the uh, which is the genetic material they have find they find that such a genetic material with the help of the uh, one experiment they conducted on the mice in the mice they injected first a strain they injected a S strain S is nothing but just now we discuss S is nothing but smooth strain that consists of the polysaccharide membrane the mucous membrane that presented in the polysaccharide mucous membrane that is responsible for the causation of the disease. First, uh, S strain. They injected into the mice. The first two, what happened? The mice die because of the, the polysaccharide that present is responsible for causation of the disease. And the mice got uh, pneumonia and uh, mice was died. Here, after that, the living S strain cells was recovered from that uh, uh, body of the dead cells, dead mice. Then from the dead mice, they discovered the, they are recovered the uh, uh, streptococcus, most strains from the uh, dead mice. After that, similarly, they have conducted experiment on the R strains by using the R strains. Just now we discussed R. R is nothing but rough strains. R is nothing but rough. The roughness because of the absence of this uh, polysaccharide membrane. The polysaccharide membrane is absent. Polysaccharide membrane. Mucous membrane is absent. Mucous membrane is absent. When polysaccharide mucous membrane is absent, now it is considered as R strain. R, when R is injected into the mice, the mice are live. 
mice live the why the mice was live the mice live because uh, r is not responsible for the causation of the disease so that uh, the mice was live now the griffith uh, what he did the living r strain cells was uh, recovered from the uh, live mice from the body of the live mice here uh, mice live because the r strain is not responsible for the causation of the disease so that uh, this is r strains now they are recovered from the live mice after that he conducted one more experiment here we conclude that s is responsible for the causation of the disease r is not responsible for the causation of the disease because of the absence of the polysaccharide it is not responsible for the causation of the disease now s strain s strain is what is that heat killed heat killed that is injected into the mice when a strain heat killed to inject into the mice the mice was live because when a strain is a uh, heat killed the polysaccharide membrane is a uh, uh, degraded so that uh, uh, it is a uh, it was that is not responsible directly is not responsible for the causation of the disease now what he did now yes are our strain cells not found in the body of the mice in this case he did not find any kind of the s strain or r strains he did not find because the s strains were heat killed when heat killed what happened the bacteria cells were died and the died cells that uh, eat uh, heat uh, non virulent means uh, they, when they died they were injected into the mice when they injected into the mice the mice still live now next uh, uh, experiment what he did s strains now just now what he did, uh, what he have taken that heat killed s strains heat killed her strains plus r strain live r strains are nothing but what they are uh, rough strains they are not responsible for the causation of the disease uh, disease but here what is that he has taken the live strains he have taken here s strains are heat killed he has taken now these both strains are combined and injected into the mice when they are injected into the mice the mice mice was died why the mice was died here he, con he concluded the experiment the when the living strains are found in that particular body of the dead cell that is include that what is that the s strains when they died also the dna that present the genetic material that present the dna is uh, already the uh, genetic material present in them that is transformed into the transformed into r strains means this is nothing but transformation principle what is meant transformation the transfer of the genetic material from the one bacterium to other bacterium through a surrounding media here what is the surrounding media here when this particular this uh, s strains are heat killed here plus r strains when these both strains are injected into the single mice the single mice when you inject into single mice what happens there is a uh, s that uh, heat when the heat killed also their dna is not damaged after the uh, after heat uh, uh, heat killed also the dna is still present dna present in the s strain that are transformed into the r strain now r strains are what happens that convert into s strains when they convert into s strains what happens it is responsible for the causation of the disease now finally they uh, find that uh, living strain cells found in that uh, body of the dead mice cells that include that this is responsible for the causation of the disease now see one uh, picture uh, pictorial explanation of this particular uh, uh, mice experiment see here we find first uh, the living s cells when injected this particular living s cells into the mice the mice died and next strain uh, next step next uh, step what he did r strains r is nothing but uh, rough strains rough strains are the absence of this polysaccharide they are uh, not responsible for the causation of the disease when injected into the mice mice still live now they have recovered the cells from that and after that they have injected this particular heat killed uh, s cells s cells means nothing but uh, smooth cells smooth smooth cells smooth cells are now injected into the mice the mice still live now they have recovered this particular uh, s strains heat killed s strains from the uh, now it did not find any kind of the r strains or s strains here why because already that s strains are heat killed even though when they are heat killed also that dna is still present in them 
Now what we did uh, S strains plus R strains, S plus R strains, these both are what is that they injected into the this uh, mice. When they inject into the mice, the mice uh, died. Why why the mice was died? The mice died because of the uh, when S strain is transformed into S strain. Still when when it is die also the DNA present in them. The DNA present in them that is uh, transformed into the R strain and uh, R strains are now converted into S strains. Now S strains are responsible for the causation of the basis. Now in this case we find that what is that? That S is the S is converted into R strain and R is uh, responsible for the causation of the uh, now R is converted into S strain. Now it is responsible for the causation of the disease. In this case we find that uh, uh, there is a genetic material that is transformed from the S to R strains. Now R strains are converted into S strains. The mice was died. And finally they recovered the, the cells from this uh, mice and they found that uh, S strains here. Because that uh, all our S strains are fine here. Because R when genetic material, A8 killed S strains plus uh, R live strains. When they inject into the mice, that is genetic material is transformed from the S to R. Now R is converted into S strains. Now mice was died. So that uh, we can say that the transfer of genetic material from the one bacterium to other bacterium through a surrounding media. A surrounding media is the, inside the mice blood and after that it is transferred, uh, S strain is transferred into the R strain so that uh, uh, mice was died. And in this way, in this experiment we conclude that DNA is the genetic material uh, proved by the scientist Griffith.